Hi everyone, As now we are going to start forensic ballistics. This is the science of firearm and the ammunition used in this. So here basically we are going to learn about gunshot injury. Being a forensic specialist, how we are going to help our legal system. First of all, suppose if I have a patient of gunshot injury, just after seeing the wound, how can we tell the range of firing? And if I can see the shape of wound like this, like a stellate shape, range of firing, I can say that it was contact shot. Firearm was like this. If I can see, shape of wound is circular. So it means firing happened at a certain distance. First thing. Second, after seeing the ammunition, after seeing the nature of ammunition used in a gun, how we are going to understand that which gun was actually used? Third, when I'm doing post-mortem examination or autopsy of a dead body, I found one bullet there and after that I preserved it. After four or five days, police arrested one accused person. Now police is asking me, doctor, please check whether this bullet was fired from his revolver only or not. After that, I have to do the investigations and when I'm doing investigations and on the basis of investigation, if I can say that, yes, this bullet was fired from his revolver only, then yes, actually he is the main murderer. In this manner, we can help our legal system. So when we have to understand these many things, first of all, we have to start with basic anatomy of firearm and bullets. We are going to understand one by one. So when we have to learn about forensic ballistics, we have to study about internal ballistics, which is also called the proximal ballistics. After that, external or intermediate ballistics. And finally, we have to learn about the wound ballistics, which is also known as the terminal ballistics. What does it mean? So first of all, whenever we have to learn only this part, which is actually what? A firearm. So when I have to learn about a gun, this is called as internal ballistics. How a bullet will go out, how a firearm works. This is internal ballistics. And after that, when you are going to pull the trigger, how a bullet is going out velocity of bullet and the nature of bullet. So basically this part, whenever we are going to learn this part, this is called as external ballistics. And after that, when bullet is going to hit the target, hit any person. So whenever we are going to learn about wound or after striking the target, this is called as wound ballistics or you can say this is also known as the terminal ballistics. So let's start with the basic anatomy of a gun, basic anatomy of a firearm, whether it is a revolver or a shotgun. Okay, so let's start with the basic anatomy of a gun, basic anatomy of a firearm, whether it is a revolver or a shotgun. Basic anatomy will always be same. Yes, there will be butt or handle, this one. Main part, action, where you are going to see this part. Okay, so let's start with the basic anatomy of a firearm. Basic anatomy of a gun, whether it is a revolver or a shotgun. The basic anatomy and the main parts will be same. Okay, see this picture here, I'm going to give you the more explanation. See, this part is supporting system or you can say this is called as a butt handle or a stock 
okay after that see this part here the main part action overall you can say this central part this is the most important part which you can say this is called as breach right here you have everything see this is the most important part of a firearm where you are going to load the bullet where you are going to pull this part after pulling this part what is happening here hammer will go up and this is going to strike the firing pin and after that bullet will go out bullet will come out of the barrel so the most important part is the central part breech part now, when I talk about a barrel, please understand that this is a long metallic tube. This is a long metallic tube. See, anterior part, anterior part is called as muzzle end. And the posterior part here or the part which is connected to breech it is called as breech end. When I talk about diameter of barrel or lumen of barrel, that is called as bore. That is called as bore. See here and after that when you see this picture, this is actually a revolver. Here you have a cylinder also. In cylinder of a revolver, there will be six bullets. Six bullets will be there. So whenever you are going to open the firearm and after that what is happening here? One bullet is going to go out and after that, see this spring, this cylinder will rotate by itself and after that second bullet will come and after that when again you are going to open the firearm, again second bullet will go out again. After that, because of the spring, there will be rotation of this cylinder like this. So, up to this much point, I hope these things are clear to all of you. Okay, now with this picture, you will be having more clarity. First of all, you see this, whenever you have to open a firearm, you have to pull something. Okay, you have to pull this part. Right? Okay. And this is the guard. After that, See, this portion is called as hammer and this is called as the firing pin or percussion pin. And after that, I'm showing you a chamber here. This is a chamber where you are loading the bullet or ammunition. Okay, this is called as the chamber. Now you see this part is called as barrel. And inside the barrel, you are going to see land and the grooves. See, when I talk about the diameter of the barrel, this is called as bore. Okay, now the question is how this gun is going to work? How you are going to open the firearm? First of all, you have to, first of all, you have to pull the trigger, right? After that, what is happening here? Hammer will go up hammer will go up after that firing pin will move forward and strike the bullet and then bullet will go out in this manner a gun will be working And now you see this GIF and now you will be having more clarity how you are going to open the firearm, how a hammer is going up and after that what is happening, a firing pin is going to move forward and this will hit the bullet and after that bullet will go out of the barrel.